Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to apply to a pot or a quadratic funding round. So quadratic funding rounds are independent contracts that basically have an application period, a matching round in payouts, and all the way up to the deployment of the pot and to the payouts, anybody can add to the matching amount. In this case, you can see there's only 0.97 near. There's going to be 10K as outlined in the previous round. And I'm also going to show you how to fund the matching round in the next video. Uh, but right now, I'm going to show you how to apply. And so what are the requirements for an application? They can vary, but more likely than not, the default, especially in the deployment settings, is to be part of the registry.potluck.near, which is the official potluck public goods registry. And so as you can see here by the settings, it actually requires that you're part of the potluck registry. And then when the matching round is open, it actually requires that you be not about human verified. You know the matching round has not started because these can overlap in terms of applications and matching rounds. And it says seven days left to apply and it says all applications are open. And so since the account that is logged in right now near hacks down near is not on the potluck registry, you can say it says register to apply. Otherwise it would just let you apply and a pop-up would happen. So if you click to register to apply, it takes you to the regular create project page that is on the home page. And you can see here, this is actually the same information that is on the social.near contract. So if you use Meteor Wallet or Here Wallet, this is what's on the profile picture. If you use social.near, this is the same account and all the information. So you can see the project ID is just the account name. The project name is the name that's right here that you're logged in from. The overview is the bio and it, it supports markdown. Um, but there's stuff here that saves on the social.near graph that isn't there by default and that's required. The first one being a category. And the, and the second one being a reason for a public good. There's a lot of, you know, dispute of what a public good is. Generally, if you go to potluck.org slash project dash guidelines, you can see that we define a public good as something that's not excludable, something that provides more value creation than value extraction. So you can technically be a VC if you provide more value creation than, than value extraction and still be a public good and look more into what each of these categories mean. And so let's put the reason for a public good is we provide uh, we provide education for anyone who wants to learn about NIR. And then for the category, uh, we're gonna select we're gonna select two things. Notice if you select open source here. Um, it'll actually require that you put a GitHub repository too. Um, but this is an open source project. This is public good. And this is also education. And it could also be community depending on how you look at it. And then you can also put the contracts in previous funding sources as a part of it. Um, now you can see we have all the required fields. Just to note, if you guys use Sputnik DAO or um, have a DAO under Sputnik DAO, which is what Astro Plus Plus and Astro DAO uses, you know there are two parts in terms of executing anything as a DAO. There is creating a proposal to do something or creating a proposal to a function call because we're accessing different contracts here and then actually executing. So if you register as a DAO and you put your contract name here, you'll actually it'll check if you have access to make a proposal for that DAO. And then when you create a new project, it'll actually create to propose. And this is important to note, we have some documentation on this, uh, but there's actually three contracts you're interacting with. You're interacting with the social down here, which adds the data. It also does stuff like stars the repo and follows potluck, which is some backend stuff we added. And then it, it adds uh, to registry.potluck.near, um, which just keeps track of all the accounts and adds it to a particular status, which admins have to update. And then it also adds the project to nearhorizon.near, which is a registry for Near Horizon, which is the accelerator of accelerators on Near and also an accompanying platform. So if I click confirm here, um, it's essentially going to trigger a transaction. And you can see here, it triggers all three of these, as you saw from the preview. Meteor Wallet is a little bit kind of unique in that um, extension wallets are really hard to kind of detect uh, that there has been a response. So I'm going to have to refresh. I'm going to refresh, and then I'm going to go back to the pot page and then actually apply to the pot. So it's a two-part process. It is creating a project. Now that you're on the registry, um, then actually applying to the pot. However, by default, as you can see here, um, 
this project is actually pending and has not been reviewed. And that's to prevent any kind of spam. We have systems and services that automatically redistribute funds across public goods. So there is a need for an approval process. So uh, what's going to happen right now is I'm going to go to potluck.org slash community, the Telegram channel, and then let uh, the admins know to approve this. And then I'll be eligible for uh, that. So give me one second and I will basically uh, contact them. So I contacted the Podlock team and they approved this project. As you can see, the banner is no longer there and you can actually edit profile and then um, add to cart. So if you made any changes there, I'm going to go back to the pot and then I'm going to go to the creative pot round. And now you can see it, it actually changed because now near hacks.near is on the registry and you can just apply to the pot and you can be all like, we are creative. Honestly, this doesn't fit the requirements of what the creative that round is. So this is getting rejected. And I'm going to show for all the chefs and pot owners and admins how to reject it. Uh, but uh, let's go here. You can see it's on the apply. It costs 0.01 near gas. This is the message that passed. Um, well, this is the deposit and this is the gas. And then it's going to pull up Meteor Wallet, going to confirm this transaction. It's about three cents near is around three dollars thirty five cents as of right now, and then it's going to execute. Like I said, it's hard to get a response on there, but I know it went through because I get notifications on all this. Shout out to Learn Near Watch Bot, and then if you go to applications, it's not on projects because it has not been accepted yet. But if you go to application, you can see here that there are two applications and you can see the note here. So the admin has not reviewed any of this or the chef has not reviewed any of this, but there are two applications here and near hacks done near is one of them. And so you're gonna actually have to go to the Potluck community channel and let any chefs or admins know so that they know because this is all on chain. There are no email notifications for this, but uh, in, in terms of this, chefs should be checking every day as well as owners and admins to support this. So that's how you get on the registry, you know, get approved and now applied uh, to it, but you have not been accepted.